I want to talk about why it is you don't need a paid VPN service anymore, like Nord and some of the other ones where you pay a fee every month. And that's because we already have secure web browsing. You just may not have realized it. So one thing that Google did for us several years ago is they required all websites to have a certificate. So as you can see here, there's the certificate. It says connection is secure. Certificate is valid. Certificates do two things. One is it says they are who they say they are. When I'm connected to Google with a certificate and there's no certificate errors, it means that I know I'm connecting to Google. The second thing is, is that it's encrypting the web traffic between my computer and between Google. So what used to happen before was the ISP would not only be able to tell where it is you're going, but they also be able to tell what you're doing once you get there because it was all done in clear text. But not anymore. Now everything is encrypted. However, there's another thing that the ISP can do, and that is they can tell where it is you're going. Even though they can't tell what you do when you get there, they can tell where it is that you're going. So there is another feature that you can turn on in your web browser. And this is true of all web browsers that you know are commonly used, such as Chrome, Firefox. Uh, Firefox has the setting on by default, by the way. Edge, all these other ones, they don't necessarily have them on by default, uh, but you can certainly turn that on. So you want to click on security and privacy. And this is in Chrome. And then you want to click on security. And then you can scroll down and you can see use secure DNS. So make sure that that's turned on. Now, if you have it turned on with your service provider, that may not be the best way to go because the service provider may still be caching the information of where you're going, and then they can still sell that information. However, if you hit the little radio button here and change to custom, now you can choose who it is that you want to be able to do this with. So I would suggest either Cloudflare or OpenDNS. OpenDNS is now owned by Cisco. Uh, and so for instance, we'll choose OpenDNS. And now what's happening is when you go out to a web page, your DNS request to say, hey, I want to go to a particular website, any website you want to go to. Now, not even your Internet service provider is going to know that you went there because they're not handling DNS. The DNS is no longer in clear text. It's all being done encrypted. So you may, in some cases, you may have to sign up for some of these services. I'm not familiar with all of them. Of course, if you choose the Google way, then you may still get targeted ads from Google because they're obviously doing the DNS uh, security themselves. So it's probably a, a better idea to go with one of these other ones. But you certainly no longer need to have any type of paid VPN. Now, if you're still paranoid, there's one more thing you can do. When I type in Tor, you can see that you can download the Tor project and use the Tor to further obscure your uh, web browsing. Now, what does that do? Well, what it does is it uses a proxy in some other country. As a matter of fact, if you go to say, hey, what's my IP address right now? It'll say where it is you currently are. But if you install Tor and you say, what's my IP address? It's going to think you're in a completely other country. The main downside to Tor is it's slower than browsing directly out to the internet. But as long as you can live with that speed issue, then uh, you're certainly fine using that. And that adds an additional layer of security as well. So we've obfuscated our IP address. We're using DNS secure. So ISP and nobody else knows what requests you're making to go to any particular websites. They have no idea where you're going. And once you get there, nobody will be able to decrypt any of the data that you're passing back and forth, except for the website to which you're going to directly. So that's why it is that you don't need a paid VPN anymore. Now, if you once again live in a country that has the great firewall in it, sort of like China does, I totally understand why you may want to have a VPN service because it needs to go outside the firewall in order for you to get to certain sites. Otherwise, you're just blocked from them altogether. Otherwise, though, you don't really need to have a paid VPN. So hopefully that'll be helpful out there and be able to save some people some money.